So hi dear Cancerian, a very very good afternoon to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general love reading for all the Cancerian Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the roles can be reversed anytime. Third thing, this is a reading from uh, July till the December 2022. So let's start. I'll pull one card for each month and then the guidance card for you. Okay, let's see. How your love life is going to be from July till December 2022. July, August, September, October, November, December, the guidance card. Queen of Pentacles, so you are healing. Right now, Cancerian, you are in the healing mode. You are trying to stay in your power, you are trying to be mature, you are trying to be practical, you are trying to do your own stuff. And I feel like you are uh, going to heal from past experiences or heal from something that was not working out or heal from a traumatic uh, uh, experience in your life regarding relationships july i do see you are going to be focused on your money your job your career everything about you i don't see you in a relationship as of uh, as of now if you are already in a relationship or if you are in a committed relationship then also i feel like you are going to be more focused on your money your job your career your finances rather than the relationship thing okay rather, rather than the love part of your life so it's going to be a little difficult for you to understand uh, where to put a full stop or where to start this relationship or even uh, if you want this relationship or not i'm talking about a specific relationship in general i do see you more uh, more inclined towards making your life better a better place a better space to uh, live okay for yourself for your family your more your money your job career everything about you is going to be uh, your focus in july so it's a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy that you might be dealing with or it is like you are going to accept the traits of a Taurus Virgo Capricorn in your life. Inculcate the traits of a Taurus Virgo Capricorn because these people are mostly uh, uh, inclined towards luxuries, inclined towards uh, independencies, uh, especially financial independence. August, Two of Cups. Somebody new or you are going to find someone with whom you are going to vibe a lot. Okay, lots of love, lots of blessing, a soulmate connection is on, your, uh, is on the horizon for you. It could be very much possible that this is a person that you already know. But for some of you, this is a new person adding up in your life and you are going to feel a soulmate connection with that new person. Okay, if you are already in a relationship or already married, I do see you feeling a sense of contentment in your relationship you are going to feel like yes this is the right person for me or this person is the only person for me who can understand me so this is a this is a very beautiful period august is a very beautiful period for you uh, for some of you it's a marriage offer coming your way for some of you it's a, a dating app or someone whom you met online or something and you are going to feel like yes this is a this is it this is my person this is my man this is my woman so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It's a beautiful energy of union of two souls into and blending into one. Beautiful energy. Your love life in August is going to flourish. September, Four of Pentacles. Holding back a lot of emotions. Okay, You might be holding back a lot of emotions. You will not be able to express your feelings. Or uh, even if you are in a relationship already, I feel like you are having some kind of past wounds. And because of the past wounds, you will not be able to uh, fully present in the present relationship or present in the current relationship so you have to uh, open up you are not opening up to this person you are not opening up to this uh, uh, relationship because you are having issues with the past or you are still connected to the past person and you feel like if i'm going to open up or if i'm going to be vulnerable in front of this person or this relationship it's going to fall it's going to fall off or it's going to it's not going to work out so it's your feeling it's your energy you feel like it's not going to work out so and that is why you're holding back so holding back is not the solution here you have to open up you have to be a little vulnerable in front of the person you love or you're in relationship with then only it's going to work out for you right so Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy again okay October justice could be dealing with the Libra in October so uh, there will be balance so whatever you have done in the past whatever you did something good that's going to come out as a good karma you did something bad that's going to come out as a bad karma so you are going to get results as per your karma as per your karma what you did in the relationship what you did with the person what you did with this um, equation in the past it's going to uh, it's going to bring balance in your life okay 
so if somebody did something wrong with you they are going to get the justice they are going to get the punishments or they are going to uh, get the divine punishment you can say or if you are the one who did something wrong with anybody you know deliberately that's going to hurt you so if justice card is there it's not always a positive card it's it's all about karma it's all about what you have done you are going to get exactly what you have done so it's the result of your karma okay so it's uh, it's a beautiful energy of balancing anyway if you have if you haven't done anything wrong it's going to balance the equation between you and your partner and balance will be restored okay so <clears throat> july august september october november wheel of fortune tables are uh, table will start turning in your favor okay wheel of fortune is slowly but surely tables are turning slowly but surely things are going to be in your favor luck will favor you see once you got the justice then the time will start changing then the luck will start changing and luck will favor you in whatever you are going to do regarding your relationships so might be a new relationship coming your way might be you are going to end the past relationship might be there something that is not working out slowly but surely whatever you will be feeling at that time table will start turn tables will start turning in your favor okay in the month of november so it's going to be lucky period for you actually uh, i don't see this is going to be uh, unlucky for you or because the wheel of fortune is not always lucky wheel of fortune is sometimes uh, it's uh, sometimes it's it's it gives it gives a vibe that uh, time is going to heal everything time is going to uh, make everything correct make everything right okay so as per your energy at that time what you are going to do your karmas are going to decide whether the tables are going to turn against you or in your favor okay so it's i feel basically it's going to be a lucky period for you because you have gone through a lot in your life till now now the tables will start turning in your favor december something is ending some kind of break up some kind of separation something is ending there is complete or permanent separation there is complete or permanent ending to a chapter of your life and it will it will lead to a new chapter of your life because 10 of swords is 9 uh, of swords plus ace of swords so ace of swords is basically after hell lot of conflicts and battles and fights and after a lot of problems you are going to restart your life you are going to get the truth and clarity and you will be able to get up again and start your life at your own pace with your own rules okay this is what you this is what your love life looks like till the end of december so something is going to end by the end of this year and it's going to lead towards clarity and truth the magician the guidance is the magician so you have to manifest exactly what you want you should be very clear and honest within yourself what you want exactly in your love life what you want exactly from a relationship from a particular relationship or in general what kind of relationship you want in your life so you have to be very honest with yourself and then only manifest because right now might be a manifesting a soulmate but you have put a face on the soulmate that this should be my soulmate otherwise i don't need anyone okay or you could be manifesting a wrong person that's not good for you so you have to be very clear headed about what you want or what kind of person you want in your life and then only you should manifest then it will come to fruition okay that is your guidance cancer so thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste